everyone, my name is Savannah. In today's quick little video, I just wanted to take a moment and show off the brand new color morphs for the King Penguin that were added with the free update 1.15. Now, I am a little confused on this because I went through and found just as many as I possibly could. The official notes for update 1.15 from Frontier say, added king penguin color morph variants speckled leucistic albino melanistic and xanthic now i was able to find every single color morph except for the albino one so i'm not sure if it's just really 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 difficult to find um or if that was a typo I i'm not quite sure but I was able to find the other ones, and then I also threw in the brown color morph and a normal looking penguin just so that we can compare. So let's start off with our normal looking penguin who has decided to try to go for a swim. Let's put him back on land here and then take a look. So this is obviously if you look up here in his menu, dark gray and white feather coat with yellow markings. This is our typical king penguin those little vehicular patches on the side little yellow on the chest very good looking little animal there love penguins obviously if you know me you know how much i love them this is the normal king penguin coloration he's gonna go for a little swim there now if we go find our brown morph coloration which might be over here yes here you are let's bring you over to the light my good sir that way we can take a good look at you and see your coloration. Now, this one, to my understanding, was already in the game. This is, I should show you in the menu here, brown mutation, pale brown and white feather coat with yellow markings. I do believe that this was already a color morph. If I'm incorrect, please do correct me down in the comment section below. Look at him sit with his little feet up on his heels. It's so cute. Anyway, he looks just like a normal King Penguin. He's just a little bit lighter and more brown colored on the back. Hence why he's called Brown Mor uh, Morph, Brown Mutation there. So that is one that was, to my understanding, already in the game. That brings us to, we got a little baby sitting on land there. That brings us to the new ones. So let's start with this guy over here. They all want to go on this side because the keeper can't reach this side of the fake habitat that I set up or the temporary, I shouldn't say fake. Anyway, this one being here is the Xanthic. So this is yellow and white feather coat with yellow markings. How good does this one look? So this one is not again to my understanding this is not the albino because they list albino and xanthic as two separate color morphs so this one the xanthic one the yellow guy here and hopefully i'm saying that correctly because i've actually never heard of this color morph before um but he looks so good look at him look around at the sky and stretch up god these guys are so funny and so fun to watch but they look so good, like the white, uh, like almost clear eye and the yellow on the head and the chest and just the white cream colored feathers all over the place. They look phenomenal. So, so good. So that is the Xanthic one. And then the other two that I was able to find, we'll start over here again with the melanistic one. This guy going to be our very dark colored, all black marking penguin. If we go down here and take a look, he's still got a little bit of his yellow patches on either side of his head, um, but most of his feathers are all, obviously his belly is all black colored feathers and his back is all kind of gray and light gray kind of colorations. Uh, there for you and he looks equally as good I obviously love when planet zoo adds different color morphs to the game because it just adds variety and it gives you something fun to kind of hunt for in your game or breed for in your game and I absolutely love that so this little melanistic guy looking stunning just like the rest of them gonna sit back down on your little heels there and tripod with your little tail very very cute so that's our melanistic guy and I saved my favorite for last if we go over here because I think were you over here on this side no you're taking a swim we can look at you taking a swim I guess so this guy right here is our speckled leucistic 
more. And just look at how amazing he looks. This is such a gorgeous coloration. We've got some yellow speckles on the head, and then the whole back is just speckled black and white and gray feathers. It looks beautiful. I love this morph so, so much. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so that's if we exit out of here and I show you the little menu, that's going to be the leucistic dark gray and white speckled feather coat with yellow markings. So that's going to be that guy for us. We bring him up here on land. We can put them all together and take a good look. Now, when they are babies, they aren't going to really look any different. Like this one, for example, is a leucistic one here with the speckled feather coat and everything. But as a baby, he just has his brown fuzzy uh, chick coat. And so he doesn't look too much different. The one that does look different, though, uh, I believe, is the brown mutation, where as a chick, they're just a little bit lighter in color. Like, they're still brown and fuzzy. They're just kind of more of a, a light brown fuzzy color. But there you go. There is all of the King Penguin morphs. Again, let me know down in the comment section below if you've been able to find the albino, because I searched forever. I even had the amazing leaf send me over a mod so that finding these colorations was so much easier and I can't find it. So I am skeptical on if it even exists or not. So please do let me know if you found it down in the comment section below and let me know what you think of which one is your favorite. Uh, and that's it. Quick little video just showing off these beautiful pink king penguin morphs. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk at you in the next video. Bye.